Now, this lady's been a star since the age of seven, and her new book, My Story, charts the highs and lows of her fascinating career. Will you please welcome the lady herself, Miss Danny Minogue? Let me hear you. <laughs> I was terrified of you in them heels coming down them stairs. <laughs> Not as terrified as I was. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> How are you doing, sweetheart? Nice to see you. I'm very nervous, actually. Why are you nervous? Because I love this show and I'm so excited to be here. My sister just sent me a text going, good luck, chookers. Oh, she watching? <laughs> yep. Hey, up, Kylie. You owe me 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the taxi fair last week. Oh, OK. Yeah, she does. Danny, I've well. been... Well, I got stuck into this overnight when I wasn't weeping over yeah. single father and Emmerdale. <laughs> I tell you what, Danny, you're no lightweight. You've had one hell of a life. I mean, you were a child star, weren't you, for a start on that? What was it called, the American... Uh, the Australian uh, show? Young Talent Time. Well, we had Junior Showtime in this country. Yeah. That was the English version. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I mean... Then, then when you got married into Australian high society, I never knew these things. Yeah, I guess I've, I've packed a lot into uh, a short amount of time, but when I first got asked to write a book, I just thought, oh, I've got nothing exciting to write about. You're who joking, who would want to read about me? I really, no, I didn't, because I love reading books and yeah. I, I just didn't think there was stuff there. It took me a while to really think it through and, and, and to work out what would be interesting and, you know, and then you become objective about it. Yeah, but there's lo like, when you got married, right, so you married these extremely wealthy Australian into this wealthy Australian family, but you paid for the wedding. Yeah, I paid for everything, yeah. Oh, Danny, um, Danny, Danny, where was I all those years ago? Please, Danny. Uh, <laughs> and then, at 23, you're divorced, you're jobless and you're skint. Hmm. I mean, that could have been end of the road, couldn't it, really? You know, you... But it yeah, wasn't. Without my family, because yeah. they're, they're very solid, and it was just the point where you just feel, how stupid am I? And, yeah. and I wish that I could go back now and meet myself then and just go... Wag the finger. A big, big slap around But would little face. Danny have listened if big Danny had come along and said, no, um, no, no? Probably not. I'm, I'm <laughs> pretty headstrong. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying, you know, push over in here. And then you yeah. did Playboy. Did Playboy, it was Was that nerve-wracking? The nerve-wracking bit was deciding to do it. Once you do it, yeah. um, you have complete control about everything you want to do. It's all very tasteful, the, the, isn't it? The pictures were very tasteful. My, my parents were worried about it. When, once they saw them, they said, Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Please, they're nice. And I don't look back on it, you know, with, with any bad feelings. should feeling. be proud. Look at, the, um, look at the women who've done Playboy. It's, over the years. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm happy Monroe, with, for one. The, with the pictures. I don't know what little Ethan will think when he grows up. We'll see. Oh, is the you baby? Know. Really good. Yeah. yeah, he's at home. He's, yeah. Listen, oh. I've got you something just before, in case I forget at the end. I bought you a little present. It's a baby grow. <laughs> isn't it? I couldn't, I, Danny, I couldn't resist it. It's, isn't it? Look at that. Well... And you put the baby in this, and then you hang them off the mirror, and, <laughs> like, <laughs> and the rocking motion puts them to sleep. Well, and there's one for adults if you want to dress up the same, Dan. Well, Chris <laughs> says that I'm not allowed to dress Ethan up in, in costumes, oh, but I've, I've already <laughs> bought the pumpkin costume for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cute. Now, what chapter in... Why did Mrs O... Mrs O was a Mesa man. Why did she yeah. get so obsessed over, over the, the chapter in the book? Um... Now, now! <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do, know. Danny. Me, you, Kelly and Mrs O, we're all going for a meal. Why did I say that? <laughs> I've come out with a tooth missing and two black eyes. I can see it. But what was it? What kicked you all know that what? off? I, I really wish that she would read it and just go, oh, God, isn't it ridiculous? Because the, the show does crazy things to people. Yeah. Like, Louis and I have had our own journey yeah. on the show and, and now we're friends. And I would really hope that she would read it and go, you know, yeah, yeah. that I'm was, gonna send it that to was ridiculous, yeah. but, you know, it's in the past. Um, it was pretty crazy and frightening at the time, and um, I still don't really know why it all happened. And 
you know, I don't even care if there's a reason. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to resolve it. Yeah. Listen, Gamu, what's going on now with all this Isn't business? Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, she's a little cracker. I just she's adore got a lovely her. voice and yeah. she's so sweet. And like, uh, I don't know. do you think Cheryl was right to drop her? Oh, it's it's really tough. We both had yeah. incredible categories this year, and whichever three you chose, yeah. and then you looked at the rest, you were still always making a mistake. Yeah. It was really hard. Um, you see, you can't please everybody, can you? You can't no. please everyone, and you've got to go with your gut feeling. And also, I mean, what you see on the show is a bit of one song. When we're at Judge's home, they perform two songs for us. Yeah. So as much as, you know, my friends were saying, well, why did she put someone through who didn't finish the song? I said, but that was one song. Yeah. And also for myself, on the first year, Leon was the only one who didn't finish. Um, the song at Judge's home. I put him in the first week. He could hardly even hold the microphone. I'm he so went nervous. on to win the show. So you, you, you can only go with the gut instinct of, of who you really feel for because you're going to be working with them every day. And we've got some incredible people and it was, it's a phenomenal year. We are so nervous about the show tomorrow because there's great pressure. You know, the fans are expecting something special. We will we'll pull out a, an amazing show, but it's good to have those And all the press nerves. have been saying, oh, it's a race thing. Now, if you pardon the expression, I think that's a load of bollocks to you. I mean, I do, I do honestly. <laughs> I really do. She ain't like that, Cheryl. I mean... No. Listen to me. I know the girl. She ain't like that, seriously. No, I and, mean, do you um, agree? The thing is that you, you can't go as saying that about people. No, exactly. I mean, her track record says differently. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, you know... Yeah. You just can't say that it's not true. I know, it's not fair, it's not no. true. She's been hung out to dry, Cheryl. Stars, you got me to deal with. <laughs> now look, I just want to say, out of your three boys, have you got a favourite? Oh. Well, I know the bookie's favourite at the moment. Who's that? I think it's your favourite. It is, yeah. yeah Matt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Danny Minogue. Now, your witnesses, your witness, David. I bet you a tenner he wins. Yeah? Times are hard, friends of you. I've just had my child benefit cuts. <laughs> I tell you, I bet you a tenner he wins. I bet you. Okay. He's superb. He's Is got the most else wonderful voice. For Matt? <laughs> cool. Danny. Thank you. Good luck with the show, Thank seriously. You. Thanks for coming on. It's really lovely to see it you. Is. It really is. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Miss Danny Minogue, come on. <laughs> and what a cracking read. <laughs> it is, though, it's fab.